In the research hall, you encounter patients who mention the good Lady Maria. They beg for her approval, for her comfort, they cry for her mercy. And then beyond the Lumenwood Garden, where the hall's victims are used as compost, you'll find her in her clock tower. She's slumped over in her chair, with blood dripping from her wrists. The lady has committed suicide, and the item description of her weapon implies it's out of shame for the things that she has done in service to the church, like raiding the fishing hamlet, like watching over the research hall. She still rises and fights you, but she does it mournfully, believing she's protecting you from sharing her fate. As a design, she's strikingly beautiful, and Unlike the workmanlike garb of other hunters, she looked regal and quite wealthy owing to her Kanehurst heritage, and it's telling that even though she rejected Kanehurst's blood magic, she will use it to stop you finding the fishing hamlet. Whatever she found there, she thinks it will torment you so much that violating her principles is worth it to stop you. But violating her principles is what led her to suicide in the first place. Like all hunters whose souls are stuck in the nightmare, Maria is trapped in a horrible, repeating cycle. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.